this is not the planet for us. I think we need to follow my second instinct, which is that more planets is better than a strong economy. Hello everyone, Thranks is here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Well, we're about to warp to a new system in search of the new capital area. In Isentam. For all the Thranxians to come and uh, develop and colonize. So we need to continue our search here. Look at this three-star economy right next to us. And it's Corvax. And we're still very close to... Hmm. A lot of three-star... Three-star economy systems. Uh, let's just make this jump right now. Let's do it. Are those planets really that close to each other? Or is that an optical illusion? That's pretty cool. Bountiful planet. I'm guessing this one's a hot planet, maybe? An acrid planet. Okay. Oh, a lot of golden toxic planet. Golden skies and amber waters here in this system. Paradise planet with ancient bones. How peculiar. We, we've got to try to fly between these two planets now. We have to see if this is really a binary planet system. Or if it's just an, an illusion of perspective. Uh-huh. It is quite an illusion of perspective. But if they look that similar in size, despite the fact that they were that far apart, that tells me Kobabi 9 is actually much, much larger than this other planet. Ooh! There we go. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's um, head to the space station. Yeah, I don't think... Well, I don't yet know the colors of this other paradise planet, so it seems silly that we would try to make a determination just yet. Oof. We're gonna bounce right off the outside of the space station. Sorry! Didn't mean to scratch the paint, right? Yes, Broa Exchange. Alright, well, we're just here for one thing because we need to stay on task. Check our multi tool quality in the system, it's C class. And then we're going to look for mining and scanning modules. Mm, but they have to be of an S class quality. They do. No compromises. We're at the end game. We can't afford to have things less than optimal. But it's about managing your objectives. So look at that. The fact that they look the same size means that that planet's much bigger. Pretty cool. I think we should, at the very least, make planet fall here on a Lyric 5. And just see what it looks like. I don't know about the sediment goldenrod colored oceans. That's so this is green potentially. Let's pulse jump over to the day side of the planet. I think that's the smart thing to do. Thank you. Oh. 
It's a amber sort of grass. A lot of a lot of that color sediment in this system. It must have something to do with the the star that seeded this system. Oh, and a red sky. Rocky, rocky mountains-ish. There are rocky outcroppings. A little, uh, some of them a little jagged, some of them a little rolling. I do enjoy flying near surface at high speeds. Oh, some interesting rock formations. Oh, uh, we've got to try. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I... I had to try. Oh, we could have made that, right? Look how... Well, no, hold on. Let's get a frame of reference here. <laughs> Maybe not. I... I bet if I would have flipped it up... If I would have rotated my wings so that I was flying through it sideways, I bet we would have made it. Now we have to look at the interesting land formation here. Curious that I don't see another... Oh, hush my mouth. Nope, there's one over there. And one over there. Mm. I think we need to get traveling, though. Yeah, we can't afford to spend too much time on planetary analysis. Because more than anything, we need to find the proper system. So let's continue our search in this area. Our cup runneth over with options. It really does. Viking, Gek, Water... Again, it doesn't have to be three star. A single planet. A single planet. A single planet capital? I almost think having a variety of planets is better than the economy level, right? No, see, now I'm curious curious what that one single planet is. Let's go check it out. Let's just go see. And it's an overgrown planet. Alright, well, before we do that, and it's another dark nebula. Lots of dark nebulas in this section of Isentam. Well, we do have to stop and check out the multi-tool. We've got to. We must. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that space station. It's pretty extreme. Alright, so let's hop on over here and see how they're doing over here at the multi-tool vendor. C-class and a three-star economy? That's okay, Merchant Pelu. I don't, uh, I don't begrudge you. Boom, I'll take that. Thank you much. So let's go ahead and install that right here. Very good. And then I think actually we have some nanites we can grab, and we'll get rid of that runaway mold. Hold on to that salvage data, though. Ooh, don't do that, Thranxes. Alright, let's process our Hadal cores. 
300 nanites, and then the larval cores, same thing. Okay, that's good. Now we just need a mining module, and then we can actually... Now that we have three S-Class scanners here, I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down these here. See, I don't think... Can't get rid of that mining beam. Nope, they won't let you hamstring yourself like that. Wiring looms? We'll hold on to them for now. For now. Something tells me this overgrown planet is going to be a little weird. But I accept these terms. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, very mountainous. Steep mountains and valleys. A pale peach colored sky. dark, like, rocky outcroppings amongst bright red grass. The trees are fairly red, too. I keep thinking, I'll know it when I see it, right? We'll know it. Let's scan. Let's scan a couple rocks. Formed from atmospheric metal. Okay, so there's metal in the atmosphere. That explains the odd hue. And it probably also explains the grass. Leeches from the air as well. Oh yeah, look at that low flying. That's fun. So there's definitely some sort of metal in the air. Um, mellow weather. Formed from gravity. I'm guessing condensation? Or... What's, what's the opposite of sublimation? Deposition? There's some form of particulate in the air that's condensing. Jagged cave outcroppings. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But ultimately... We must be on our way. This is not the planet for us. I think we need to follow my second instinct, which is that more planets is better than a strong economy. So let's look for something... Three planets... Uh, three planets, two moons. That's kind of fun. Four planets, one moon. So many options. There's there's another one planet. There's three planets, two moons. Let's let's try this one. Oh, and it looks like we ended up in a freighter fight. Okay, well, not really the expected time, but we did prepare for this eventuality by saving beforehand.
let's show them how good an explorer can do when it's kitted out. Let's let them taste the photon blast of the Katsadam school. There we go. Come on, lead them. Yep, there we are. Fairly simple. Oh, 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 okay. They finally identified me as a threat, but not in time. Okay. So this would be our, let's see, this would be our capital ship. Very large uh, Sentinel, Sentinel class, Sentinel style ship. So, I think, yeah. What is this arrow pointing me towards? Oh, friend, friendlies. Well, that's, that's wonderful. This is not specifically the type of capital ship, but that I'm looking for. It could be interesting, though. Let's... Let's check out its class before we make any sort of determinations. A C class. Well... I think what that means is that we're going to reload and check out a different system. Okay, so this one is three planets and one moon. Let's try this one. Let's see what we get here. So it looks like another Sentinel style ship. It's fairly large. So, after about seven or so high economy systems trying to find the right starship, we ended up settling here at Myocane. Well, would you look at here? So, a little bit of trial and error, and we have found the type of capital ship we're in the market for. So now all we need to do is hope that it's S-Class. And, as luck would have it, we just happen to be in a high wealth system, so while I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference, it couldn't hurt, right? Uh, literally, I hope it couldn't hurt. I can't imagine it makes it more difficult. Are these ships inside of the capital ship? Um, I think it is. They're literally shooting at the capital ship to get it. I don't plan on doing that. That all. I think I'll go after the other ships that are... Nope, that's the wrong ship. There we go. Alright, they're underneath it. They're not necessarily in it, although it was really hard to tell it for a little bit there. Alright. I'm excited. Let's see what type of capital ship she is. Oh, and look at it. Viking Commander. Okay, um, we could probably deal with that. Switch, switch off of our Corvax commander to a Viking commanded ship. I don't have a problem with the Viking. They're a little warrior-like. That could 
that could do well for combat missions, you know. And yes, I know, it doesn't matter, but to me it does. A B class. Okay, well, at least we we know our system now. Myocane 2. Okay, I'm actually getting pretty fast at doing this now. Um, I've had about... Uh, or what? Three B classes, two C classes, and two A classes. Um, I can get most of these ships down in just a few minutes, and I can check and scan the class fairly quickly. I imagine that uh, it's just a matter of repeating this cycle until the odds are in our favor. I'm not sure I know for sure I'm going to be editing most of this out. Uh, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep recording much after this one. I feel like there should be a record uh, for posterity of everything we did to get the best uh, capital ship in the game. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the one. And I've got to think positive. We've got to think positive, right? This is the one. This is the one we've had. We've had a, a few Bs, a few Cs, a few As. It's time. It's time for us to get it. We're not even we don't even talk to the captain anymore. That was pretty fast. See, that's that's about how long um, it's taken me. What was that? Maybe two minutes? Not even. Not even two minutes from when we warped in the system. And it's uh, another A class. Oh, it's a good A class too. Alright, let's uh, reload. It almost feels like we're we're stuck in some sort of uh, really bizarre time loop. <laughs> Good thing we have some practice with that. Oh gosh, I'm just getting uh, I'm getting a little frustrated, and so I'm starting to be a little sloppy running into things. And ten I, uh, it happens, but I can feel it, right? I I, I know this is the one. The time loop is over. Uh, B class. Okay. Okay, uh, it's been a bit of a grind. Um, I could have done a stream during this time. Gosh, can you imagine if I had just been streaming this whole thing? Like, the whole stream was just nothing but this every few minutes. Wow. I just, I just, I don't even expect it now. I just expect to see another B class or maybe an A class or... Gosh, it's got it's got to be soon, right? I mean, I don't know how much more I can do of this. This is this is horrendous, and I don't generally like. Oh my gosh! All right. All right. I get asked a lot in the comments by fans what I would like to see in a future update. Ugh, antenna. I am. Um, I don't have to wonder anymore. Like I know. I know what I want to see in a future update, even if it doesn't end up benefiting me right now. For everyone else out there that ever wanted an S-Class Freighter, I wish for you to have the ability to purchase one or upgrade the one you have. Oh my gosh, I would I would pay a hundred thousand. No, no, I would pay five hundred thousand nan nanites. I would I would rather grind a million nanites than do this. I. I just, I'm, I'm afraid to give up because at this point <laughs> I've invested so much. Watch, it's going to be, it's, 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 oh, come on, come on. I'm, I'm, we can do this. I know we can. I don't even want to get out. I don't even want to get out. <laughs> I don't even want to check it. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, dear Hello Games. Please fix this. It is unfathomable that this has to be the method to acquire this.
I, I, I'm sorry. I, I hate to throw rocks, but I've got to this time. It, it should not have been this difficult. It should not be this rare. I mean, it, maybe it's the best ship in the game. I don't know. Gosh, let me know in the comments down below if you have an S-Class freighter, if you think it should be fixed. Or if it makes it more uh, elite to get one, that you have to go through this process. I'd love to know your thoughts. Oh my gosh. Let's purchase this thing, like, now. Thou grab a pathetic interloper of battle glory, but Viking gives, I don't know, just shut up and take my money. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's nice. Compare. Why does it look like this hyperdrive range is so much more? Oh, but they add, well, in, in any event. That's the thing we're doing. And it's only going to cost us 67 million to exchange. It's one less storage space, but we did technically use a bulkhead on this. Oh, I think this one is larger as well. I think this was the medium size one. Oh, yeah, look. And then this is the larger. Okay, all right. Yeah, they're not going to let me. Eight, three, two. What, that's 1,300. Huh. It, it almost appears, given these, these white bars, like this one is not as good. I'm just not sure. It, it definitely doesn't... I'm not... I'm not gonna pass it up. We have to do it. Okay. That's it. And now our fleet warps in. Okay, well, we're going to immediately color it. What are we? We're missing that final one. We'll get that one eventually. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm so... I'm, like, delirious. Let's color it, I think. We'll... We'll just, we'll see what... Oh, I think this has to, um, yeah, the game, I think we have to reload with it, maybe, to color it? That's, that's okay. We can... I'm just, I'm so, okay, alright. Let's start moving these things here, and we'll start, we'll start building the things we need. Well, first of all, we absolutely want the uh, the matter beam here, right? And then we're also we're going to want what, this one, and then yep, this one. So a lot of antimatter housing. So the hyperdrive range is 
already further than it was, and we haven't even really upgraded this uh, this warp yet. So apparently, oh, that's that's weird. Um, wow, we're going to have to. We have to redesign everything, which we knew would be a thing. Um, obviously, it's going to be well worth it. Uh, but the priority... Okay, the priority is going to be finding... Uh, the priority now is <laughs> going to be finding where we're going to do the Thringsy and Capital. O2 filters, sodium diode, and 15 antimatter housing. Uh, I think we could do all that. This is why we hoard resources the way we do, because we could just make whatever we want, whenever we want, um, without issue. Uh, why did I do that? So, uh, so we made five, and then we'll just go to ten. Technology, let's boom. And then like that. And then like this. Okay, so 26, 32, 4. That does seem better. That does seem better. Look at this fleet coordination. Oh, could we expand our fleet past 30? Oh, wow. We need to... Um, We need to work on that. That would be just so excellent. So we need three sodium diodes. Ugh, I can't even explain how long. Ugh, I guess I could. But it's, we're done. It's, we're past it. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all, it's all a thing. So we have a new crew. A Viking ship now. No longer Corvax. That's okay. I absolutely accept these terms um, because of what it means. And we're going to have to build a command station because we have uh, fleets that have to be re-welcomed. We're going to have to look at all this old cargo space. We're going to have to um, delete all of this. That's right. We're not doing any of this nonsense here. Nope, no, 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 no. And of course, uh, before, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to read it in the comments. I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, you could have dismantled every... Yeah, no, that's... I don't care enough to have gone through and taken the time to do that. It would have just taken longer for me to get uh, this ship. Wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Well, we're going to host a drawing for the uh, the name of the ship. I'm going to be giving away 150 points to whoever can at me with the best name for the ship in the Thranxian Discord. So go ahead and do that. If you have an idea for what we should call it, um, and I'll pick whichever one I think is the neatest and the very best, and then of course you'll get your points. And wow, uh, it almost feels like a dream. Like, like did this really happen? It really did. I I, I can't even. Words cannot express how close I was. To giving up and just <laughs> over it I was <laughs> and yet here we are perseverance pays off in dividends um, for those without sleep and let's just let's just get that restore point saved in fact oh my goodness I dare say we're also going to go ahead and drop a nice manual save down over in here. Let's, um, yeah. 
Let's do that. And then, you know, you know, before before we try to focus on getting everything perfect, we should at the very least set up fleet command and welcome our ships back because they've been out for some time. So let's do that. Let's debrief these commanders. Oof, yeah. Money, enriched carbon, organic catalysts, money, geknip, money, chromatic metal. Lots of units. Uh, really kind of was hoping to get a little bit of that salvaged frigate technology. I'm not super concerned about it, these modules. We only need two more of them. Uh, I don't necessarily want to hold on to that anymore. Even though that's slightly wasteful, and I know that it was, I don't really care because we have oh so much of everything. Just about so much of everything. Ah, and we need to expand our storage now. Now we can use our bulkheads, which we were also saving. And that is no longer a thing we need to worry about. Oh, of course it is, because they're all long expeditions, and those aren't trade, so... We have these Exocraft cannons, and all sorts of items. Launch fuel. <laughs> We're holding on to launch fuel! That's a thing, apparently. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything has to be reorganized, and I'm just, I'm ecstatic. Activated emerald, destabilized sodium. Yep, some discoveries, super oxide crystals, cadmium, rare metal, more cadmium, and activated copper. Wow, a lot of resource-dense items. And... Sure, I'm thinking we'll just... Missing components, microprocessor. Carbon nanotubes. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. There we go. Thank you. Now, let's go ahead and sell from the freighter. Some of these things we don't need, like activated copper. Yeah, you know we don't hold on to that. <laughs> activated cadmium, I think we'll let that go as well. Activated emerald is just money in the bank. And then these I think will actually break down. Um, I doubt that's going to be enough room, though. What we should do is we should move all these to our exosuit. For the time being. Ugh, we'll have to sort it all out another time, but we need to get all the fleet back and debriefed so we can reset everything. Units, pearls, that looks to be a discovery, and wow, a lot of units. Dirty bronze, and some activated indium. Okay, well, we can still sell the things we don't want from the freighter here, like these neural ducts and these pearls. And the Gek Relics, and I think we're ready to sell the Activated Indium, but honestly, if we need Chromatic Metal, uh, which we don't really. We do not. Okay, well now all of our fleet is returned and debriefed. And we have our S-Class capital ship, which is also visually a size larger, even if not not larger in space. It will be once we start installing these bulkheads. But I think... Oh. That's a weird looking explorer with the, with the wings. Only because of the cockpit. I think the long flat wings are neat for an explorer, but the cockpit's all wrong. Oh, it did, it did color our ship. Look at that. That's it. Our capital ship. 
look at it. Oh, we've got to get back and take a take a picture. We're darn sure we have to take a picture. Look at this. Wow. The pride and joy. We're not even going to include the Katsudam's coup in this picture. Oh my gosh, can we can we fit it all in one image? Good night. That's That's too much. It's so massive. Look at look at how <laughs> look at it compared to the frigates. I love this. Okay, that that just about fits it all on the screen even though you can barely see. Maybe we turn down the fog density so we get a little bit Oh, it doesn't work. Now we'll just go with the default filter. That seems a little washed out. That's still pretty washed out, but at least it looks washed out on purpose, maybe. Maybe we need to try to... Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty good. Very, very cool. Very awesome. And our fleet full of S-Class frigates. We're... Uh, it was so worth it, though. It was so worth it. We've been playing this, this series for, for years. This series has literally been on my channel for years. There's no reason, especially now, that S-Class freighters or S-Class capital ships have received upgrades to their warp range. And they're better than ever. There's no reason not to have one. Now, do I agree with the method that we had to use to get it? Not necessarily, but I'm not above it if it's the only way to get it when we're this far end game. Uh, maybe in the next update they'll add the ability to spend nanites to upgrade an A to an S. Gosh knows, I would have paid probably half a million nanites to skip what I just had to do, even though I probably would have had to spend as long <laughs> grinding uh, jelly donuts. <laughs> but, in any event, we've done it, and that's the end of the episode. Oof, we'll continue looking for the, the new Thrangsian capital in Ice and Tam in the next episode. But until next time, take care.